Hi everyone, welcome to Preferred Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into a love reading for the sign of Aquarius. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you guys would like a personal reading from me, all of my information is down below. But let's get into this reading for you guys. We're going to start off with messages from the a yogic path, and then we'll move on to the next deck. But what message do you have for the sign of Aquarius? Thank you. We have Pranayama. Hmm. Let's read this message. We're just going to get right into it. But um, I feel like this is being like connected to the earth. Um, being free. Number page 69. I just want to make sure I'm going to the right page, you guys. So um, let's read what it's about. Control of breath, eight stages of yoga. You have inhaled the beauty, joy, and magnificence of life and, it, and exhaled the toxicity, stagnancy, and dullness. Now is the time to use the prana energy you have cultivated deeper towards your truth. With this control of the breath, you can control your life. So where would you like it to go? If you're seeking more rest, tranquility, and luxury, breathe slower. If you're seeking more energy, speed, and rajas in your life, breathe faster. Through pranayama, controlled breath, you can decide how you want to feel and when. Begin the study of various pranayama practices, such as alternate nostril breathing and breath of fire. Use it with your life. Use it with your life. That's not what it says. Use it in your life to magnetize your direction. Okay. So, um, controlling your breaths, controlling how you breathe in order to connect to that energy flow, like the flow of energy that you would like to um, be in. Uh, bottom of the deck is China Masta. Look at that. I want to read this. I'm reading it. And then we're going to move on to the next um, deck. And this is Goddess of Radical Self-Transcendence. Self you are waking up and experiencing the radical pleasures of letting go. China Masta, the hellish goddess, has come to guide you in the massive state of transformation as you turn passion into spiritual energy. Kundalini, primal energy, is rising and you have given up a role you once carried to step up more fully into your power. Don't fear in this state of transition. China Masta's gift is to transmute the darkness of times into the most powerful of energies. Carry her fierceness as you tear off a former head, head, head you once had and experience the inner peace that comes with being divinely yourself. So Aquarius, the OU is basically fading away type of energy. It's like you clearing out that old self, and it seems like it seems like you're just trying to uh, regain balance. Yeah, regain. You trying to mm -hmm, realign yourself with the way um, in the route that you're going. I should say because the way you were before this moment in time um it's being destroyed basically and uh maybe there are times where you feel nervous and anxious and not really not knowing what's going to happen next that's what we're going to this prana yama and controlling our um breaths controlling how we breathe i should say and uh, getting into that mode of you know what relax or going into that state of breathing faster in order to be able to um maybe like this i feel like this is connected to like working out clearing out that energy um being able to get into the mode of getting something done doing whatever you need to do so let's just move on into the sacred destiny oracle i don't want to stay too long to that Let's get some more messages for you guys. Sign of Aquarius. Messages for our Aquariuses. Here we go. 
we have thriving okay so um being going through some things um having a uh having to have gone through some things gone through some things and thriving throughout those situations um knowing that you control the power within you okay bottom at the bottom card at the bottom of the deck is stillness and i like that with this um energy that's flowing right now for you guys because yes you know how to accomplish some things right um but you're being called to do something differently in this moment for whatever our reason and know that throughout this change you will be successful you will thrive throughout the challenging times, but but knowing that you can um, create that power in the moments of stillness, okay? So it's okay to stand still. It's okay to um, rest for a moment. Let's get some more messages. <laughs> we have change. See, I, I feel this change here, you guys, but it's for the better, okay? Thriving throughout the change. We have new beginnings. Going towards new beginnings, Aquarius. They are just falling out now. Courage. Having that. Let's see, I'm right underneath thriving. That is great. Fulfillment. Having the courage and knowing that throughout this change that you will be fulfilled. Going towards these new beginnings. Yes, you have to. You had to uh, let go of some things. You're going towards something brand new. Uh, but you will be fulfilled, but it's a level of anxiety, anxiety here where you have to just relax. <laughs> you got this, Aquarius. One more. Healing chaos underneath new beginnings. You know what? I want to get another row here. Healing chaos underneath new beginnings. Uh, right. Because you feel like you may be going through um, this tornado stage. But it's it has everything to do with that transformation. I see these butterflies in this card. You, someone's just not quite used to that change. Well, you're a fixed sign, Aquarius. I get that. More messages. Opportunity. Having the courage to accept the opportunities and knowing that you will thrive here. You have what it takes. Two more cards for the sign of Aquarius, please, and thank you. Two more cards, please, for the sign of Aquarius. Trust. Trust, right? Trust that you will be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And it's opportunity that you have. Enlightenment. Receiving that enlightenment that you need, okay? Um, you may hear it be open to receiving that message to receiving those um signs of enlightenment okay be open to it forgiveness and also be open to forgiving yourself and others all right thriving will be the card that we read before the end of this reading i'm going to move forward to the tarot now here we go. Messages for the sign of Aquarius, please. Thank you. What's going on with the Aquariuses? Just want to make sure the cards are all upright. Messages for the sign of Aquarius, please. And thank you. Look like we have the three of pentacles coming out. Collaboration. Bringing something together. Orchestration. And something else flipped out. The chariot card looks like. Yep. The chariot card pushing forward. That's Cancer Energy. We have the King of Pentacles working on uh, one's finances, becoming, um, make like materializing things, I should say. Uh, we have the Two of Cups, cups, chalices, I should say, in, the, in this deck. And we also have the Hierophant coming out. Let me make sure it's nothing else. So, it's a departure here at the bottom of the deck with the Three of Swords. Aquarius. The 
it could be a soulmate connection but this is becoming balancing balanced between the masculine and the feminine energy within oneself okay um using that yin and yang energy the hierophant is calling you to make sure that you are making choices with the right intent okay um there's a decision that's being made I feel like someone is deciding to work on themselves or join forces with another um, and move forward with this situation that could be that could um, become successful with that King of Pentacles. You'll become grounded. There's a lot of um, abundance involved here. Being able to help others. Let's get some more messages. Judgment card. Right. Being called to make a decision. It's time to make a decision. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Planting your seeds. Someone may be worried about what's what's um, going to come out of that. Well, we kind of discussed that not too long ago, right? Aquarius, we have the Knights of Pentacles underneath the King of Pentacles. Making sure everything's in order. Taking your time. Doing the paperwork that you need. Hmm. Four of chalices at the bottom of the deck. Building a foundation. That's in this deck, okay? Like a foundation structure here. One more card here for the sign of Aquarius before I get into this. Make it clear, please. What else is going on here? One more card for the sign of Aquarius. Now I'm just dropping too many. Thank you. The Nine of Pentacles is doing something on your own. A success story. Climbing that ladder. Making something happen. Ace of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Clarity. Taking a risk. That's I feel like that's here. Like being up for the challenge, I, I should say. Um, let's get some clarifiers. What's the Three of Pentacles? Clarify the Three of Pentacles here. What else is going on? Oh, this is this could be you making a decision to do something on your own. You knowing that you have what it takes in order to do something on your own. Making a decision to maybe, um, if this has anything to do with a relationship, being single, uh, being open to a relationship. What's the three of pentacles? It's not quite clear to me yet. We have the devil card coming out sideways. Capricorn energy. Pushing, so you testing the limits. Pushing things to the limit. I don't know what that's about. And then we have the four chalices back at the bottom of the deck. You want to create stability and structure in your life, right? But you may be going through some challenges. Challenges. Um, you may have been coming across these challenges and temptations. Dealing with some toxic people, maybe. What's the, the chariot card? The, the strength card. The strength to move on. Mm. Okay. All right. Here we go. So I'm getting this message for someone. Someone has been trying to keep something together that's been very toxic to oneself or to, to everyone involved. Okay. But source is asking you to have the strength to move on. Tain that beast within. Stop trying to fight the situation situation or trying to, to trying to control it. We have the moon card at the bottom of the deck. There's a need to face fears about someone's cur courage, conf courage and confidence because you did see courage earlier. Let's get some more messages. Clarify the King of Pentacles here. We have the Four of Pentacles. Someone could be holding on to something because of financial status. Someone could be feeling as if... Someone could be holding... It seems as if maybe you and this person match. Like, you guys see eye to eye because of how you make your finances, how you um, accumulate your abundance 
and material wealth, but but it's something. Let's see what's underneath this person. Mm. I don't know if this there is some type of to a level of toxicity within you or this other individual. Oh, wait. Someone could be holding on to like a Queen of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. See Leo underneath here. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Communication. Someone could be feeling feeling lock, blocked from this also. Let's move on. Be Y'all. Clear about the Two of Chalices. What's the two of, two of Chalices, please? And thank you. Clarify the Two of Chalices. The four of wands. So there's a disconnect. There's there is a disconnect somewhere, you guys. Um, someone wants this this the happiness and the bliss and everything is all good, fun in the sun type of energy. It's not happening with this connection and a connection. It's just not really happening here. Then we have this three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Departure, a breakup, separation, time to go. What's the hierophant? Hmm. The full card. Get the gavel. It's, it, it, you got to hear, hear it. It says time for a brand new beginning. So I said it's time for a brand new beginning, Aquarius. I don't know what's going on here. We have the um, hangman here at the bottom of the deck. You, you've been doing it. You've been walking carefully. You've been taking... When, when taking action, you like, okay, hold on. Let me be careful in this situation. Um, Why? why why because maybe you're you you it's something that's um maybe said in a connection between you and another person or it's some type of lack of confidence where you may be afraid to just go towards this new beginning but you're being called to go towards the new beginning i don't look y'all hold on Why are you feeling like you're hanging on a tight rope? More messages. What's the judgment card? So, someone may not be trying to let you go, or or someone that may be like a needy type of energy. So we had the um, moon card on top of the judgment card, facing fears like need to face fears of what would happen next we have the seven of chalices at the bottom of the deck anything is possible though we have the knight of um clear for the knight of pentacles what's the knight of pentacles here the six of chalices slowly wanted to go back to the past or the page of chalices the knave then it's the towel moment here. Mm. Someone's been trying to figure out a way to get back to the past for whatever our reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. Clarify the, the um, nine of pentacles. The high priestess. Follow your intuition. You can do this alone. Solo. Solo. We have the um, hanging man back at the bottom of the deck. Gaining a new perspective. Okay, this is just about you gaining, going within and gaining a new perspective about the situation or whatever is going on. There is a lack of confidence um, or anxiety or something like that because I see this nine of swords here about this new beginning that you're going towards. What's the devil card for the sign of Aquarius? The seven of pentacles. Options. Options. Wondering. Okay. You want happiness, but there's a decision that needs to be made. There are some choices that may be tempting, but are they for you? What's the strength card? The tower card. There's that tower moment. That sudden shift, that change that makes you have the strength and courage. That makes you have to push forward. That makes you have to have that willpower and determination to move on. 
Hold on to what you have. Hold on to what you have, okay? Um, the star card is at the bottom of the deck, though. Renew hope and faith. Okay. There you are, Aquarius. Ga gambling on a situation. Gambling or needing to walk away or needing to let the dot like let the let the dice fall but no that's letting the chips fall where they lay that's that saying and it's separation and it's departure what's the full card you guys seems unclear to me but you guys probably like okay i know exactly what you're talking about mm, i don't know um the five of swords in reverse yeah because when you are feeling, feeling depleted it's a better situation somewhere look things will go upwards when things were crashing, it's going to be going upwards. The Eight of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. It's time to mix something up and keep it, you know, start to, to create what it is that you're trying to create. You have what it takes. You have the you have the ingredients. All of the energy. You have the what it, you have what you need to create what you're making or create what you're looking for. Or creating what you have what you've been visualizing visualizing aquarius <laughs> moving on what is the moon card here what's the moon card clarify the moon card we have the two of pentacles there's that decision but afraid to make the decision keep on looking back like oh what if what if this go in prayer and meditation go within go into solitude um go into solitude if you whatever you need to do to receive the messages okay from source to make the decision, the best decision, okay? <sighs> Clarify the high priestess. We have the Ten of Wands. So you've been through a lot, okay? But well, now you're overcoming some challenges with this Ten of Wands. Pushing through. Being celebrated. Because you made something happen on your own. You made that choice within yourself. Clarify the tower. What's the tower card? The Knight of Swords. Quick, fast communication. Something you hear. A fight, an argument that makes you want to just go off on this person. You have to temper yourself. You have to have, um, bring that balance between the masculine and the energy within before you went off. But you probably did. And then that's what caused the tower moment. But now you have to have the strength of confidence to move forward, to push through, to know that Swords has your back, right? Um, I swear, I hope this is making sense to you guys. <laughs> What's this four of wands in reverse, please? And thank you. Make it clear for us. What's the four of wands in reverse? You knew something wasn't going to be successful, right? Because I'm looking at thinking about this high priestess and this ten of wands down here. You kind of knew it wasn't going to be successful or what you what it, what wasn't successful when you moving forward with this independent energy independence and glory and knowing your worth that's where you go towards victory it's like yay source is like congratulating you type of energy but we have the eight of um chalices fall, falling on top of the uh four of wands in reverse right gambled someone gambled was gambling on their love or, or on an opportunity or something like that telling you was you was walking on a tightrope for some reason you know this feeling and it made you feel anxious. It made you feel like you were alone, suffocated to a certain extent. What's going to happen? You wanted teamwork, but maybe no one was there. I don't know. Um, What's this five of swords in reverse? The six of wands. Right, victory. You did what you had to do. Okay. And you did it with love. As long as you did with whatever you had... Okay, when you come in from the hearts, the hearts with love, Swiss has your back, always, regardless. Like, don't worry, don't worry. Blessings will come towards you. Let's move on. Let's move on. Anything else that I want to um, clarify? The Seven of Pentacles up here. What's the Seven of Pentacles? And then I'll read Thriving for you guys. The Empress, after I clarify this. The emperor is divine feminine energy. Nurturing yourself, taking care of oneself, being the nurturer. Uh, writing out your plans. Okay? Receiving messages. 
could be a message coming through. Someone ready to work with you. So be be creative here. Be creative. Be creative. Don't let nothing stop you from creating whatever it is that you want to create. Because I feel like it's going to lead to success. Making that decision to push through. Take that adventure. What's the Empress card? Clarifying the Empress, we have the Ace of chalices harvest season for you abundance good life type of energy we are going towards the holidays thanksgiving gonna be feeling eating all this good food and stuff like that if you celebrate it but i'm pretty sure you still cook a lot of food <laughs> but anyways we have the two of wands here walking away from your past the doubts worry seven foes imprisonment feeling like whatever work you've done wasn't good enough Kept on pushing you to towards ending this, end this now. It's pushing you towards success and a, a brand new beginning. Okay? Anything is possible. It's going to be blessed. It's going to feel good out there. It's going to smell good out there. It's going to smell that air. It's going to smell so good. <laughs> using that prana. Breathing in that good prana and using the prana yama energy. Okay? Going towards that queen of pentacles energy like you the boss. All right, let's read Thriving. Let me read Thriving. What Aquarius and I'm out of here, okay? Come on back too far. Here it is. If you draw this card, you are a survivor, right? You overcame those challenges. Like, you made it through. And not only do you survive, but you see situations that others might find challenging to thrive. You expand when others shrink. This may be the time to adapt to your circumstances rather than overcome, rather than be overcome by them. You have a rem remarkable ability to step beyond any challenge. You are strong. Others may find shelter in your energy. And right now, that's okay. Through giving to others, you are in turn nourished. This card may be urging you to step into the primal, primordial, 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 powerful wild part of yourself doing this will increase your vitality and cont contribute to your overall well-being aquarius that was your reading I, I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if it resonated how it resonated leave your like shares and all of that good stuff i love you i love you i love you and i'll see you guys next time bye